Welcome to Kathy's Eclectic Garden. I'm Kathy and I garden in Zone 5B, 6A in Northwest Ohio. Today I am going to share with you one of the features that I like in the Garden Planner app that I use to plan my garden beds. I shared a video with you in my last video about this program and today I want to go into a little bit more detail. So I have here the garden that I put together in the last video. I changed a couple of the flowers, but it's basically the same garden. And if you click on the, pl the plant, you know this property uh, box comes up. And if you click down here, show plant details, you get a plant details tab. And in here you can put uh, different attributes for your flower such as the sun exposure, the hardiness zone, bloom time, the planting time. And you can even put a, a picture of the plant if you've grown it before or after you get this set up and you've grown the plant. And you want to go back and put a picture of the plant that you grew, you can put that here. Also on the properties tab, there is a notes tab down here. And uh, let's go to this one. You can put uh, any type of garden note you want to when you fertilize it, um, how the plant did for the season, if it got higher than normal or was smaller than normal, um, just whatever notes you want to jot down, you can put that here. It's kind of like a little journal. Now, I have not entered information for the Black Eyed Susan on the plant details tab. Oh, yes, I did enter the information. I'm sorry. To set this up, to set up the um, plant details page, when you first get into it, it will come up and look like this. There will be nothing here. And this is where you can come if you want to change something after you get it set up. So you'll get this screen, there will be nothing on this screen, and you will click next. And this screen will come up, and then you can go through and choose what attributes you want to keep track of if if you want to do that. You can, I, I chose sun exposure, hardiness zone, uh, I'm not going to do that one anymore. Uh, time to maturity, that one is a good one to use for uh, vegetable gardening. And I'm going to be doing a, a video on, on setting up a vegetable garden in part three of this series and so we will use that then. But you can just go through this list and, and pick out the items that you want. And when you get finished, you can click Done. I also added a custom one that wasn't on the list, and that was for natives. Because I grow mostly natives in my garden, and I want to be sure to high, uh, identify which plants in my garden are actually native. So after you get that set up, you can just click Done, and you go back to your garden. And... Like I said, the Black Eyed Susans, the information I got off of this reference table. You can get information off of your seed packets or off of the plant tags if you've bought plants. And just enter it into these different categories. Like here, I put in 3 to 7 for the hardiness zone. You can plant it in summer. You could also plant or put uh, the months in, whichever is easier for you to keep track of. Now, once you get all of that information, then you can, uh, it will uh, come off on some lists and some different things. We're going to go over that in a minute. But I also wanted to show you that you can do buildings. And I want to show you how to set up, uh, if you have, want to put a, gra gar a greenhouse in your garden. You can click on glass greenhouse. Now this one says it's three foot by three foot. That is not a very big greenhouse. If I was going to have a greenhouse, I would want it to at least be eight by ten. And let's make that seven foot high, so we've got plenty of headroom. And there we have our greenhouse. Maybe you are going to want to have some place to sit when you go in your greenhouse. So we'll put a wrought iron, iron table here in the greenhouse. 
and then we will put a um, chair. We have a wrought iron chair there also. Then maybe we'll want to um, put a workbench in there. So let's put a prep table. And we'll put that in. And that probably want it to be more like two feet by six feet. We don't want it to be seven foot high. We'd only want that to be about three feet high. And so there we've got our greenhouse set up. So this pretty much um, covers the special attributes that um, I like to use. Now, once you get this set up, let's see, let's close this, get this a little bigger here. Okay, then. If we go to the preview mode, you can see now we've got little numbers on all of our plants. Do that by clicking the show numbers. And that will number them. And what that does, if you go to your notebook, here's a list of all your plants and objects that you've got on your garden plan. And it will number your plants. So number one is a nine bark. And if we go back to the preview page, we find number one and there's our nine bark. So that will identify the plants for you. So you know where they are. Um, you can also include garden notes when you print this out. If you want to just print out your list, um, if you just include garden notes, I believe that will, um, just print out your list. Well, if you go to your, here we go. If you go to your plant and object list, you can print that from here. You can also print your garden notes from here. And here's where I put in the, to fertilize the plant. And I had already put in that I purchased the nine bark from Town & Country. So this is where we, you would come to print it. You would just click the print tab. But that pretty much does it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and join me for the next one and we will look at planting a vegetable garden. Thank you and see you next time.